Let's roast some marshmallows, crack some cold ones, and get ready. It's fireside time, and today we have that guy with us, a core part of the Ignite community. Welcome, that guy. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you guys for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah. How are you guys doing tonight? Yeah, just doing good. I'm, I'm glad to be back. Glad to be back on the show. This is fun. We haven't had a guest for a little while because we've, we've done some kind of crazier last few episodes, so it's fun to have guests back. Um, this, this is going to be a good one. Yep. So that guy first, tell everyone where they can find you. Can you hit us with your Instagram, your Twitter, perhaps your Twitch channel? Give us all of the details. Where can we find you? Yeah, I'm streaming mainly on Twitch only right now. And it's uh, that guy 2192 over there. I'm not on Instagram. I haven't broke down yet, but I am on TikTok. <laughs> and it's also that guy 2192. And I am on Twitter at that guy 2192 as well. So a lot of my Very Twitter complex. is lacking on. And uh, I've been posting regularly on it now for the last week or so. so nice. Really. All right. So we're going to first go over the usual questions. So that way our community can get to know you a little bit. First off, can you tell us a little about your streaming setup? What do you play on? What kind of thing do you stream on? What are some of your favorite gadgets and gear that you use? Yeah. So my streaming is basically really simple. I was streaming on PS4 with no camera and just with my laptop next to me. And then Swift and King Kaiser decided to make me get an Xbox. So I got that. And then I found out that I could easily get a camera. So I bought a Razer Kio and I've been using it as well. And I dabbled with Streamlabs OBS and it crashed my laptop. So I'm going to be in the process of getting a new laptop right now. I have a basic Dell laptop that was given to me. So Very nice. Very nice. So you're playing on console. What kind of peripherals do you have? Any special controllers, headsets, anything like that? No, I have the Turtle Beach 600s that are the Xbox exclusive ones. And then I just have a regular Xbox wireless controller. I haven't got a scuff controller, no elite controller yet. I, I've kept it pretty basic so far. So. And you're still carrying Swift and Kaiser in the games. No excuses yeah, I was. needed. <laughs> I was for a while. Swift has been carrying up in Rebirth, though. So i got to give her props there on that at least. That's her map. I was watching her the day. She, I don't know what's different. I don't know. I mean, it, it's a lot tighter than Warzone is, but man, it, it, she is good at that one. Yeah, she's been crushing it, and she carried us to four wins the other night. So that's what she she told us. <laughs> she made sure to tell us several <laughs> I'm sure times. <she> did. <laughs> uh, so, what actually got you into streaming? Why do you stream? What was the first game that you streamed? When I first started streaming, it was Warzone, and I was just doing it to honestly look at gameplay and try to get better at end game scenarios. We were getting to a lot of top five places, and we just were in bad positioning, bad gunfights, not picking our spots right. And I wanted to get better at that. And then about a month or so, a month and a half in, I got a weird follow. It's And a guy jumped in and said, hey, I'm, I'm going to drop you a follow. If you don't follow back, let me know. Or if you want to follow me back, that's cool. If not, that's fine as well. And it was King Kaiser, and I jumped into a stream, and we were sitting there talking, and he goes, hey, here, I have a Discord. And I was like, made the mistake of going into the Discord, and then <laughs> seven months later or whatever it is, we, we talk regularly, and I've really delved into streaming a bunch, and now I'm doing it for real content creation. I have a YouTube now that I've just posted my second video yesterday. I'm doing the TikTok stuff and I'm really trying to put out actual good content and be better as a streamer. So that is really awesome. So are there any streamers that inspired you to originally get into streaming or is it just something you stumbled upon and wanted to try? Uh, my one friend talked about it some, but I was watching Stone Mountain a little bit mm -hmm. on Facebook He's gaming awesome. and just the way that he interacts with people and it, the authenticity of it seems great. But honestly, what inspired me to be better at streaming is playing with Swift and Kaiser and even Lethal. Um, they, they've been great with motivating me to try to get somewhat towards their level. I'm always going to be behind because they had such a great start at it and really put in the work that I wasn't when I first started. So just watching them succeed and grow and get better and better really makes me want to just step up my game being a part of them. So. That's awesome. It's awesome that you guys were able to find each other. Uh, sometimes things just come together. I know you said before we got on here, you talk to them every day now. Are there any plans to meet up with your new online friends in real life? I always hear awesome stories about that when people actually meet each other in real life. There are. Swift is trying to get me and my wife to go to Universal with her and hers. 
Um, we're trying to get my wife on board with that stuff. I'm on board with it because parks and rides are fun in Florida. It's amazing. Uh, and Kaiser awesome. wants us all to get together for a hockey game. He's a Columbus Blue Jackets fan. And me being right outside of Pittsburgh, I'm a Penguins fan. So I'm going to try to meet up in Ohio. It's kind of a center point for us. So That is when so awesome. Play. Well, you will have to update us how that goes. Or maybe we'll have both of you guys on to talk about it. Uh, I've just heard so many cool stories or you see the TikToks where guys that met on Xbox 360, you know, 10 plus years ago now meet for the first time and they're just instantly friends because they've been playing so long. So that is really cool. It's awesome that you've been able to make some friendships like that already. And it's awesome that you're really starting to take streaming seriously and get to the next level. Uh, so what are your future plans? You said you started on YouTube and you're posting consistently on some social media. Is there anything specifically you're aiming to do or specific goals? Yeah, so about two weeks ago, week and a half ago, I posted a loadout challenge where I had people give me ideas for loadouts, and there's about four of them that I'm going to try, and I'm going to put a compilation together of a couple different YouTube videos under the same series, and then I'm going to end it off with what's my favorite combination right now, which is the AN94 Pellington combination hmm. that I've been running. I've been getting some fun clips of it, been getting made fun of a lot because the AN94 doesn't hit as hard. But that Pellington, though, it's, it's pretty fun. I, I've so, seen on your TikTok lately, the clips with the Pellington are crazy. It's it's probably my least favorite. I don't know how you use it. It's my least favorite sniper. But your <laughs> clips in, in Warzone with it are crazy. It, it's fun. And I, some of them are luck. Like, there, there's one that I'm going to post that there's just a dude running in between two houses, and I somehow headshot him. That's not skill. That's just <laughs> I got lucky and just caught a glimpse, you know. Mm. Uh, but – no, it's a fun gun once you learn it, and it it's obviously different than the other guns. The bullet drops a little more, but I don't I don't like playing the meta guns as much. When when the DMR was a thing, you had to play it, or else you were just getting wrecked immediately. So I did that, but when the growl was in, I used it maybe the last two months of it being meta just because I wanted to try it. And then the kilo, I didn't try it until two weeks before the DMR started. So I always ran weird guns. I ran the SA87 which is a goofy LMG that no one liked, but I enjoyed it. Just fun to do different things and try to branch out. And hey, if it works, it works. If not, then all right, you switch it up and go forward. But this loadout seems to be working pretty well. My Warzone gun for the longest time was the Ram 7, and I just refused to use anything else. And I think it was a sleeper for a long time because I was it like was. the only person running it. And it was, it was great for that mid-long range. Yeah, it was And fantastic. then Stone Mountain found it, and it blew up for a couple weeks. And then... They integrated some new guns and nerfed it, and then it was like, oh, man, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was a laser beam for me when I was using it. Sorry, my dog is spazzing out in the background. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I mean, the, the guns are fun. I For Warzone, there's always going to be a meta, right? And it's always going to last yeah. about four days until Tim the Tap Man and Nick Merckx find it, and then everyone's going to use it, and then it will get nerfed the next week. Uh, yeah, but I think just finding those games that or the guns that you like and that work for you or that are satisfying to use that those are the guns that make the game the most fun. Yeah. And I feel like it provides real content for the people that I'm reaching out to. I'm not trying to drop 20 kill games because my audience doesn't really care as much about that. They want to see funny stuff happen and the reactions of me losing gunfights yeah. to people. They, they enjoy that part of it more than me dropping 20 kill games and i'm sure my teammates would rather the 20 kill games but <laughs> their reactions are pretty funny too as well so definitely definitely all right well i think we have a video of yours loaded up i'm do you want to talk a moment before the video or do you want to talk after we show the video i can talk after the video that's fine all right let's, let's see the, the video and uh yep call and hit it One's down. I'm nowhere near you. There's one below you. Two knocked, two knocked. They're up here, up here. Knocked one, knocked one. You guys are. Oh, I didn't get the last one down. I. Oh, can you get up here now? Uh. <laughs> So that was a, a clip actually from Apex. We've been talking about Warzone this whole time. So have you been spending uh, a good amount of time in Apex? And we saw you were playing with some of the, the creators that uh, are part of Ignite there. How's that been? Yeah, 
it, it's been incredible. Uh, Swift got me into it regularly. And uh, when I first tried it, I was terrible at the movement. I felt like just a complete bot. Couldn't hit my shot. And then she said, you need to actually sit down and play more than four games at once. So we started playing it regularly, and I've gotten progressively better. And I don't get yelled at as much for not resing my teammates as Lifeline. So that's a big part of it. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you're picking Lifeline, you better be going tapping those reses or else you get, you get people right. mad. Right, I got you. yelled at. In Warzone, you can 1v3 teams, right? Like the time to kill is pretty good if you get to jump on them. Yeah, Apex, it isn't that. And there were countless times that we lost games because of me going, I'm going to go this way, you guys go that way, and uh, I'll get them. Nope, I was dead. About like that. So so I said he's still a bot. Eh, <laughs> Ooh. Well, what are your go-to two guns? Like what's your go-to loadout in Apex? My go-to loadout, I love the Spitfire, and I love the Wingman. I don't know what it is about the Ooh. Wingman. I can hit some shots with it. If I'm on, I'm frying with it. But the Spitfire is really the gun. And then the triple take. You can't go wrong with the triple take. So. That's a good I like the triple take because even if you're not hitting all your shots because of that spread on it, you can still exactly. do damage, and yeah, it feels you good. Crack and shield. Or do some. And exactly. Exactly. I like it. I like the content. That's uh, the first video you put on your channel. You talked about the yeah. second series you're doing. Plans going forward for more content, like Apex content specifically on the channel? Oh, yeah. There's going to be more Apex. There's going to be some Warzone. I'm going to look into a game called Spellbreak. I played it when it first came out. It's more of a magic style so game. So did we. We, we played, played that, the first yeah. week that it came out. And honestly, I think I should have stuck with it because there's some streamers that are popular because of it and played it day one. Think if we would have just stuck with it. it it's tough, though especially going in late when people have real understanding of the game but yeah. it's a different style vr and it just we had, it seemed really fun we had an interesting experience with that when we got on i'm pretty sure we were playing in bot lobbies at the beginning because we just like smoked yeah. everybody for the first yep. three games and then by the end yep. there was at least one other real team that we started playing but we were just like oh my gosh so, this is easy we're gonna go pro in this game because it felt like we were playing bots forever yeah their one creator, I watched a stream where one of their guys joined the person and was talking about, they said your first three games, you play solely bots just to get <laughs> you affiliated with the game. And then they slowly integrate it. And then by like the 10th match, it's just full people lobbies and good luck. Cause you don't know the game wasn't out long enough at that point. You could have some dude that has 50 wins already. And you're just sitting there going, uh, how do I shoot still? But, yeah. Yeah. It, I do appreciate it. I do appreciate those bot lobbies that get you at least right. familiar with the game. So that's uh, yeah. that's a pretty good idea, I think. It is. It, it is. And it seems like they did some updates to it. I'm going to have to download it on the Xbox and fire it up and see, do a stream of me just playing through back it again, you know, just to try to get a test. Something different other than the crazy war zone with everything that right now. A lot of people are upset with it. But apex obviously is going to be a big one i'm going to keep doing because i'm starting to get better at it and enjoy it more mm -hmm. we'll see we've talked, definitely... uh, we've talked a little bit in some other people's streams about uh, a possible halo br coming all of these games you've talked about are battle royales are you just a battle royale fan is that what you're mainly after and if a halo one does drop will you be playing it all right, if a Halo one drops and everybody in chat, I promise I won't touch another game for a year. <laughs> Halo was my favorite game forever. Halo 3, to this day, is my favorite shooter game of all time. Um, so if there's a Halo VR, absolutely, I'll, pl I'll play it every single day. So uh, uh, why were you on PlayStation then? Did you just like the what? PlayStation 4 more than the Xbox One? No, not absolutely not. Uh, so I was I started on Xbox 360. Yeah. I said PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2. And I didn't get a PS3 until my buddies all switched to PlayStation. And they didn't have crossplay back then. So if I wanted to play with my friends, I had to go to PlayStation. So I got the PS3, and then when the PS4 came out, sorry, my wife and child upstairs, if you heard that. Um, <laughs> when the PS4 came out, they were still on it, and they got it. So I went, all right, that's fine. I'll do that. And then they, were, they convinced me, finally, Swift and Kaiser, said, get an Xbox. Come on. We can do party chat. We can do this. You don't have to have a specific camera. You can get the one you want. And then finally, I found one at a nice price and went, all right, we're going to gonna get the Xbox and we'll, we'll try it out. And then my PlayStation has been collecting dust. Other than I'll play Horizon Zero Dawn off stream. It's nice. And uh, I have that on PlayStation. I'm about three quarters of the way through it. So I'm not starting over at this point on that. But yeah, it's yeah. been solely Xbox since I got it. Do you play the Master Chief collection at all? I haven't. You should. I, I was watching Lethal did a 12-hour stream. 
and mm. he played Halo, and I went, wow, I didn't realize the graphics were this bad. Like, back then, they were amazing. <laughs> Halo 3's graphics were so great. The gameplay was great. Now, looking back, it's like, ooh, they look like blocks, and it's, ugh. Yeah. But, yeah, I'm going to have to jump into it here at some point. I'm going to have to re-download it and try it. Just see what Forge is like, and I'm being called a traitor by Static. Oh, boy. Sorry, Static. But, yes, very much so. Uh, Halo was – I was very sweaty at it. Team SWAT was my thing. Headshots only. Oh, yeah, that, that's what my roommate loves. It's just playing SWAT. He, yeah, just because it's sweatier than anything else. Yep. What is uh, What's he doing over there? Who's we have some cool video effects uh, because we're all <laughs> hundreds of miles away from each other. It's called uh, camera lag. One second, I'm just uh, cleaning the window. Yeah. <laughs> you just, just got to get those pixels moving. <laughs> yeah, there we go. A little frozen, a little bit. Oh, oh I Boom, see. I'm okay. back. I didn't have that part oh, up. No. I got you. I got you. That guy, I think he might have started the console war in our chat here. Uh oh, Nin- I agree um, with Nintendo. Uh, Houdini, absolutely Nintendo best. Yes, console. Nintendo is great. It is is very fun, and it doesn't yeah. seem like people get mad about you know. If you say Nintendo, there isn't really mm. a well, Xbox is better. They, Nintendo right. people seem to be pretty normal and not crazy about it. So. it it's a very separate game, you know. It's it's, it's a separate group mm-hmm. of people playing it, so I think that that's part of the reason why. Yeah, I, I do have to and say. Entering too. the console wars now, this new Oculus Rift, you can pick one up for 300 bucks. And I got to say, the experience for that price point is truly amazing. You can get a, a really, really great games and have a really good time on a pretty entry level VR. So if you haven't gotten a VR headset yet, I would definitely check out the Oculus Rift. It's been a lot of fun. We've gotten some. Me, my dad, and my brother all got one. And my dad's a Star Trek fan, so today we all bought the Star Trek bridge game. And apparently you can pretend to run basically the Enterprise as a team. So you all have like your own job or whatever in the thing. So that's going to be pretty cool. It's got mics and everything built in. So there's great multiplayer games already. It's pretty cool. Standalone too. You don't have to plug it into a computer. I see uh, Lethal called me handsome. Thank you for the not mean (laughs) comment. Hello, Lethal. (laughs) Captain Waffle Iron there is my best friend in real life. Appreciate oh, very cool. Him. And yes, welcome, Xbox welcome. does have Game Pass, which is huge. I uh, think one of my, the favorite part, most of the games I play, Skyrim, all the Bethesda, or not all, but a lot of Bethesda games just recently came to Game Pass, so yeah. I'm sold. I, I saw that new Ve- Fallout New Vegas is on there. Mm. Um, yeah, that's... Yeah, but uh, back to the BR thing. Actually, the main thing that I always used to play was RPG games. All the Final Fantasy games, Fallout, stuff like that I played. But it seems like it's kind of harder for audience-based stuff to play RPG games and try to find a real interaction without it seeming like you're forcing the crowd to be there. I don't. When I'm streaming, I don't want to force anybody to be there. I want to try to be entertaining and funny and casual. I don't want people to come and be like, oh, well, he's playing Final Fantasy X or, you know, something mm. like that. So I've went solely BRs on streaming. We did play ESO live. The other last week or so about a week and a half ago and it was fun and there were people tuned in for it but it's a learning experience to try to play a game like that especially if you're going to go into dungeons you got to try to focus and then see chat and then definitely it's playing it so you gotta really learn it maybe i should play off stream and learn it and then do it so yeah Just we talked a little bit then. about we talked a little bit about wow coming back and possibly having an ignite guild on wow if we could get enough people <laughs> in it uh, I'm not sure if I'm ready to sacrifice that many hours of my life devoted to that game, but definitely considering it. If we had a huge Ignite Guild, I think that could be a lot of fun. But okay. role-playing games have definitely slowed down on streaming. I think it's harder yeah. to keep up high entertainment on yes. stream. I'm looking to build a streaming PC anyway. I can download World of Warcraft on it. I don't have a <laughs> We'll have to make that happen. Uh, so you talked about a little bit about games you're playing and games you're playing off stream. So you're mainly playing role playing games off stream, battle royales on stream. Uh, are there any other games you're looking forward to that are coming out soon or that you want to try the and new play? Horizon, the new horizon looks awesome. That's why I'm trying to beat the first one. I played it three years too late, apparently. Uh, but that one's coming out. The new Halo looks awesome it's be a nice change of pace just to see the, where the campaign goes and where everything goes from there. Um, other than that, there hasn't really been a whole, whole lot that I've been super excited about. I've been trying to stay in the grind of Warzone because there's so many people still playing it and it's still so popular. 
you don't want to take three months off and then come back in and be like, all right, well, what gun should I use? Mm. What's the new map look like if they ever put it out? You know, that's what I came into Warzone late. I came in at the beginning of season three and of season two. So I was so far behind when I started that it was just like, oh, don't know the map. Everybody's just in areas where you're like, ah, oh, they won't be here. Eh, well, they were there. So yeah, it was, it's interesting. But I'm hoping that they put the rest of Final Fantasy VII remastered out. That would be great. <laughs> but I'll be 55 by the time that game's done. <laughs> I've seen uh, predicted schedules for how they're coming out with the different chapters on that. And it's, yeah, I mean, we, we might... It's, it's going to be years until they finish up that whole thing. Yeah. And I played it when it was new, when it came out in 99. I was oh, seven. Wow, really? Yeah, I was seven when it came out. That's so cool. Wow. That was like the greatest RPG game ever growing yes. up. Everybody still raves about it to this day. So is that your Band favorite? Action, yeah, fa it is. Favorite Final Fantasy? Yeah. Yeah. I know a lot of people yeah. say that. Yeah, that and Final Fantasy VIII was really good. A lot of people were down on that one. I don't know why. Maybe it was just because it was the one right after seven. But I liked it. The storyline was pretty good. Um, but yeah, I'd, I've played pretty much every single one of them, including Final Fantasy fifteen. So, yeah, it's a nice. Big nerd part of it is the RPG games. They're, they're so involved. The storyline's great. The the lack of multiplayer on it, I think, is the big thing, because it's mm. so solely based on i'm racing the player in a single player campaign that then the storyline's great the character development's awesome the leveling systems are always super fun so definitely well jacob if you want to go ahead and give us an update on the giveaway and merch and i'll go ahead and ask our audience to start thinking of questions or things you would like to tell that guy uh we'll go over all of those so go ahead and start dropping those in chat while jacob gives you guys an update yeah, yeah. So first thing is the giveaway ends this Wednesday, March 31st, this Wednesday. Uh, we're going to add some new entries. You're probably going to see a post about that coming soon. So you can kind of check back in. That's for the Elgato capture card, which is actually on the screen right now. Look at that. Enter to win. You could click the link that just popped up. That wasn't even supposed. That just happened by chance. Uh, so giveaway <laughs> ending this Wednesday are the sweatshirt that Emmett is wearing. Our Living Night collection will be leaving Friday the 9th. That's April uh, the ninth is when that'll be gone, so you can go pick it up. That will be awesome. That's basically the two things we got going on right now. The way we're gonna do it is, uh, we won't be announcing the winner of the giveaway until next fireside, same as last time. So on Monday, be here, and we will officially announce who won. Um, and that's all I have. We can start doing questions. Well, we only have one for you right now, so I have to read it off, and that is, why does your <laughs> hair keep going back on every stream? <laughs> oh, man. Well, you see, part of getting older and being almost 30 is uh, you start to play a little more defense than you do offense. <laughs> I've gotten pretty good at defense. I'm a, I'm a good defender of the paint at this point, so we don't go past half court a whole lot. Mm. That's that's all I got to say to that there. Uh, it's it's growing out, though. We're going We're going long one last time. And then uh, I think after that, it's going to be time to, uh, you know, cut it off completely. Swift Fox asks, who is your favorite? Uh oh, every time, every time. Uh oh, oh, who's my favorite streamer? Just who's your favorite. <laughs> who's <your> favorite? <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's Swift. She She's incredible. Everything that she uh, does for me on stream and off stream is amazing. And King Kaiser as well. They're they're the OGs that really got me into doing what I do to the and got me to this point and got me on here. Even it, they're incredible. I can't thank them enough. She helps me every day, and I go, "Hey, I'm stupid. Can you help me with this here?" And she'll go, "Oh, that's easy. Just do this, 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 and this." And it's like an eleven step thing. I'm like, "Yeah, that that's easy, right? Okay." But mm -hmm. no, they're they're incredible. So and all the people I play with, Static, I see him in there complaining. The vines, <laughs> lethal. He's been carrying me in Apex. <laughs> oh yeah, he's good. And Houdini and Pritchard, they're two people. I'm not sure if they're in Ignite's Discord, but they're in the community Discord and they have their own. I've been playing with them, so they're incredible people. Very generous, just amazing. JPEZ is the best mod in the world. He's he's in there crying because I haven't mentioned him yet, but he does, creates all my commands for me. He has dad jokes in there where if you do x nice. like dad jokes it pops up a different one every single time <laughs> he's incredible so that's awesome he's been demodded a couple times for comments but <laughs> he, he stays on the mod status for the most part so that's good 
Uh, ben asked, when will the vlog be posted on Instagram? For those of you that don't know, on our YouTube channel, we actually released our first behind the scenes vlog, which was kind of doing this shoot and everything. Jacob edited that one up and it will, did a really amazing job. It's cool. It's a lot different than our other content. I think you have a clip going up soon, right, Jacob? Yeah, so that's actually what I'm going to work on tonight. Tomorrow around lunchtime, we'll we'll get that 60 second uh, clip up on Instagram as well. Which I, I think I saw Ben Ball ask that one. I will. I've major photo creds to Ben because there's some really cool shots in there, and uh, Ben was the one that did them. We got we got so much chat going. It's hard to keep track Swift of it. Swift is already asking when do we get new merch. We're still not done with this merch yet, Swift. I know that you're <laughs> always the first one to buy it, and I appreciate you. But we still got a little bit of time left before the next one, and uh, we're we're cu currently working on that design still. So uh, hopefully, not too much longer, we'll get you a, a new new drop just for you. <laughs> we do not. We do not hate you. Uh, I don't know if I should say this, but what do you call a parade of rabbit topping backwards? I don't know. <laughs> this is a trap. Oh, Dakota, you said this in my chat before. I appreciate yeah, you for just... stopping by too. You're amazing. He's been in a bunch. Thank of you, everyone, for stopping by. Uh, it, it's cool having guests on because yeah. it's 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 awesome to get the communities kind of together and get to see all the people who you always get to hang out with in here. Yeah, it's they're incredible. They all they're awesome. I'm receiving here. That's why he was saying it. <laughs> Instead of the other night, I should have remembered. It was off the top of my head. That's what it was. So. Oh my gosh! Oh, that's a good I, I one. See you, I see you. That might be that might be the clip we put up on uh, Instagram. Is that, right there? That, that? Hey, that that is awesome. That honestly, that sums me up. Is good sport. The hairline is always the thing people say. Well, I think it's the light shining off my forehead first. It is. You, you've got. It, it looks like you have like two beams of light. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. It's trust me. It's this is bigger than it looks when you're in person too. It's, it's, hard, it's hard to look good when you're on a camera. Like, like Emma and I have talked about it before. We have an AI that automatically redigitalizes us to kind of keep us looking okay. That's why we get our really cool camera effects every once in a while. Sometimes it just glitches for a second. We get those really cool camera effects that everyone loves. <laughs> well, we can do final questions here. We'll get one, one last round and thank you so much for coming on the show. That guy. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Hope it was everything you dreamed it would be. It has been absolutely incredible. Thank you guys so much. And Swift, I'm not ignoring your question. I just don't want to answer it. She keeps asking me why I keep leaving the team. I don't leave them. I just kind of just... So here's the thing. All right, I'm going to go into a little story about this. <laughs> In Rebirth, there's a gondola, right? It goes from the water up to the top of the prison. Well, I've been laying down in the side of it and going up on top and just lasering people and then laying back down and going back down to the bottom of it, all right? So I died one time. I didn't even die. I got down. I self res going back down, and then I ended up killing the kid anyway. So it worked out, but they get mad that I'm just not, like, right like inside where they're at. So I get yelled at for it all the time. That makes sense. We do actually have – I saw some questions came in. Favorite Warzone loadout? Favorite of all time was probably the Growl HDR. My favorite right now is the AN94 Pellington. It's just fun. It's different. Uh, the Growl HDR was just a, a really, really fun combination. You could just crush people with the Growl. And the HDR, you have range forever. I have a couple 500-meter snipe clips. Oh, that yeah. The one I have to post, I have to edit out the audio because he was shooting our team for a while, and I said some not-so-nice things <laughs> when I finally downed him and killed him. So I'll have to take the audio audio. Yeah. We've got did you see this? Oh, which one? Sorry. Did, did you see this? What is Forrest Gump's password or Facebook password? And Jay Pez guessed it, but I just got to give a shout out to that one Forrest one. That is awesome. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like the I like all the jokes. Um, so Fox said, this, remember this that time, chat all the time? It's always jokes. It's, really? It's great. They're incredible. <laughs> Um, yes, with Fox asked, if you remember the time you jumped off the map twice in the same game of Apex? Yeah, which... so it's hilarious. It was, I believe it was me, Swift, and, yeah, it was me, Swift, and Lethal. So our first game on, right, Lethal tries to jump us in, and he misses the map, kills all three of us immediately. We're the first team dead <laughs> off the ship, okay? So about two games later, I think we're one of five squads left, four squads left. I'm looking up at a dragon in the sky, like a noob does, and I'm shooting it and walk off the map, okay? <laughs> That's great. They get me back. Then I'm running through, I don't even know what area it is, but didn't notice the blue area on the map isn't the map. 
and I jump to go over and just boop, that's it. There's my death box again within five minutes of each other. Oh, in the no. same and it was luckily I wasn't streaming because I was so bad at Apex at the time that there was nothing clippable other than just watching me die. So <laughs> it is incredible that it, it's not on my highlight reel, but at the same time, it, it would just be perfect to see that compared to the YouTube video that I posted mm. of me getting killed and looking like a real Apex player. So, but yeah, it was, it was funny and I got just trolled for probably up until this day, honestly. I mean, she brings it up, Lethal brings it up here and there, but yeah, they were on me so bad about it. I think I cost us that game by dying twice. As oh, well. no. <laughs> in, in spot, yeah, so. There's no coming back from that. No, no, no it wasn't. So. Well, there we go. No. I might have missed some questions. It's moving fast, all these jokes coming through. I think. I mean, we can we can call it. We're at thirty five minutes. Look at that. Yeah, that's yeah. I said I could try to get you guys to stick around for an hour. So I said I could get <laughs> I'll get an hour out of it. One one day we'll do it. I just know a lot of people like the show because it is shorter. Right. Um, it is. Eventually nice we'll thing. we'll we'll do it a little longer. The hundredth episode. The hundredth episode. <laughs> Let's go. That'd be awesome. Don't Swift make us suffer anymore. <laughs> so here's the thing hold on a second we're just gonna uh -oh. well what did she say uh she said something i i can't even remember she she texted me maybe it was in discord in our group chat she said uh that i'm gonna do amazing and da, 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 da. so you know yeah i was nervous too you'll be fine yeah she you see she's just uh she's trying to troll at this point <laughs> Need some don't out channel me, points on <laughs> We will get we will get channel point rewards soon. I promise, Ben Ball. Just for to, you. I'm about to add the task just for you right here. <laughs> here it is. It's going on the whiteboard. <laughs> That's how you know. That's what things go to die is the whiteboard. <laughs> like I don't know if you guys can see, but I have make music over here. I don't even know what that means, but no, we'll we'll start working on that. We we uh, we actually want to. I've recently been going around asking people what they think of the show. We've gotten some awesome feedback. So thank you everyone who has given feedback because we do want to kind of take a look at it again, update some stuff. And certainly add things like um, channel points. All right. Well, I already picked out uh, somebody for us to raid tonight. Colin, I sent it in our chat if you have the name pulled up easily. Yep. Salem Lax 19. Uh, they're in the Discord. It says live now. They're on Call of Duty. We'll see you guys next time. Love you all. Mean it. See thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Everyone that's here, you're amazing. Ignite, thank you so much for the platform and just the ability to look goofy on stream. You guys are incredible and have been great to me over the months. And I just hope that I can slightly return a favor. So <laughs> thank I appreciate you. it very much.